Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Math and Woodworking. I've wanted to do this series for quite a while now and I found a good place to start. So, why I chose this Math and Woodworking thing. I used to teach math in high school. I taught Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, some on-level, some pre-AP. Uh, and all the time in every single class they'd always be kids that say, Mr. Rogers, when are we ever going to use this? It's like, well, if you got off your stinking Instagram and Twitter and your iPhone and stopped playing with those things, I might be able to tell you. So, it all depends on what kind of field you're going to go in. Me, I do woodworking. There's math all over the place. All woodworkers know that if you're off by maybe like a 32nd of an inch or a 64th of an inch, that's like .00s in there, uh, your, your box isn't going to fit. Whatever your project is going to be, it, it might not go together. So you have to be really, really exact and you have to know math pretty well. Um, I've also told some students as well that, hey, you know, it really depends on what field that you're going to go in because you might not use math really much at all, okay? Uh, there are some topics that we go over in classes that are just kind of irrelevant to a big part of the population, but then a lot of topics that we go over as well that you really use in your daily lives, but you don't really know it until you actually get there. So I'm going to start this series and go over all sorts of different things where math applications might be useful in woodworking, one of my other hobbies that I do. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first episode. Tell me what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below whether you liked it or not, and I'll catch you guys at the end. Thanks. With building my dad's office, I'm creating a desk, and so I'm making a couple units on the left side and the right side of the desk for file cabinets and drawers and whatnot. Um, but the depth of the desk is going to be about 30 inches or so deep, and the length of the drawers I only want to be about 18 inches deep. So I'm going to be putting a divider going vertically into each of those units, and I need to figure out exactly how wide that plywood divider is going to be. All right, so I've got this little picture here. Let's walk you through it. Um, over here, I've got the left column and the right column. They're a little bit different widths. Don't worry about that. That's kind of irrelevant. I'll, I might explain why later. Um, so here's our bird's eye view of each of these little units here. I've got plywood going down the left and the right side. And then those that top and bottom piece would be actually the back and the front piece. That's just the three-quarter inch face frame. So. I need to figure out that green width, whatever width that is for that piece of plywood that's going to be going into those dados. So we got to do a little bit of math here. The exact width of that first unit, we'll just go ahead and use that is, uh, we'll just say the left unit is 16 and 3 quarters. So I've got some numbers here and I want to be ex as exact as possible. That plywood is not exactly 3 quarters of an inch thick, it's actually 0.72 inches thick and then the depth of the dado that I cut in that plywood chunk would be exactly 0.2 inches. So, doing a little bit of math here, let's go ahead and check some things out. Total width of the first chunk, we'll just say the left chunk, is 16 and 3 quarters from the outside all the way to the outside. So what I need to do is I need to subtract those two uh, thicknesses of the plywood on both sides and then also add that 0.2 of an inch back in order to get my final width of that divider that's going to go in between. So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, if I'm going to subtract the width of the plywood, I've got two pieces of plywood, so I'm going to subtract that 0.72 twice. So I'm going to subtract 0.72 twice, and then I need to add back that 0.2 from those dados. Okay, so now we're going to add 0.2 inches and I got to do that twice because I've got it on the right side and the left side as well. Alright, so now, um, going to put this into play, I'm going to go ahead and drag both of these down here. 0.72 times 2, if you're doing some quick math, that means I have to subtract 1.44 inches from the total width. Then, I need to add 0.2 times 2, so that's 0.4 inches. So instead of taking that total width, subtracting 1.44, and then adding 0.4, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what that total is. So if I do subtract 1.44 and add 0.4, that gives me a total number of subtracting 1.04 from that total width. Okay, so 1.04, sorry about that, 1.04, subtracting that from the total width. Now, 
I've got my widths in fractions and I've got my subtraction chunk 1.04 in decimal form. Um, doing a little bit of math, I'm going to get uh, as close to about like 30 seconds of an inch as I can. I believe a 30 second of an inch is .0375. So that is pretty much the same almost as subtracting 1 and 1 30 second of an inch. Okay, so that's my total subtraction that I need to take away from each of these total widths here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jot that down in the middle right here. So I need to subtract 1 and 1 30 second. Now, another predicament. Oh my goodness. Um, I got, don't have common denominators. I could plug this into the calculator if I want. I'm just going to show you how you can do it in your head. If I want common denominators, I need to subtract 1 30 second of an inch and, and a whole inch as well then I'm going to want common denominators. So in order to get to 32 from 4, I need to multiply by 8. So that means this width right here is 16 and something over 32. So since I multiply the bottom by 8 to get to 32, I have to multiply the top by 8, so that should be 24. So there's that total width of the left column. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 1 and 1 32nd from the left side. So now we get, sorry for all the chicken scratch in here, 16 minus 1 should give us just 15. And then 24 30 seconds minus 1 30 second is just 23 30 seconds. Okay, so there's my width of that left column. And these are going to be 29 inches high. So I'm just going to go ahead and jot that down. Okay, 29 inches high. Now let's go over to the right column. So, got to get this guy, this denominator of 8 to be 32, got to multiply it by 4. So that means my total width is 17, got to multiply the top by 4 as well, 3 times 4 is 12, 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract that 1 and 1 30 second from that right side. 17 minus 1 gives us 16, 12 30 seconds minus 1 30 second should be 11 30 seconds. Okay, so that is my width of that board, and then that one is also 29 inches high. Okay, so there's my cuts that I have to make. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the table saw and make that happen. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Math and Woodworking. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more woodworking videos and also Math and Woodworking videos as well. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on whether you think these episodes are useful or not, so leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching.